body and today I have for you a spectacle of color and joy and awesomeness. You're gonna be watching two different gameplays, both are on grind, and, I'm, and I am using two of the new camos that you can buy for 160 Microsoft points. The first one that you're looking at is the Panda Camo. I'm very aware that that's not the actual name of the camo, but I think Panda Camo just sounds so much better. And in the second gameplay, I'm using the Graffiti Camo. I'm also using the new player card. I'm using a Dia de Muerto player card. So yeah, it's super colorful and pretty. And I like pretty things, and I bought all of the freaking camos. I told you guys I would. I'm not too bothered about the Jungle Warfare one. That one just, eh. I'm not too bothered about the Viper camo, where it's just like a snakeskin thing. The bacon one looks okay on some guns, but it's kind of just, it just looks kind of dirty, for, in my opinion. It just looks kind of dirty, so I'm not too fond of that one. Or the zombie one. My favorite ones are the panda one, graffiti, Dia de Muerto. What else is there? What else is there? What else is there? There's another one, right? I don't remember them. Those are my three favorites. Anyway, those are my three favorite ones. And you will see that in both of these gameplays, I am using the MP7. Now, I initially decided to use the MP7 to kind of get a camo gameplay, just because I feel like the MP7 shows off camos really well. Like, the camo actually covers the entire gun and doesn't cover, like, half of it or something ridiculous. So that's why I decided to use the MP7 initially. But then, as I was going along and trying to get more gameplays, I was using the Vector, the MSMC, the PDW. I was using so many different SMGs to try and get these gameplays. And I realized that I liked the MP7 the best. I like it the best. And as you guys know, I'm sure a lot of you know, that they recently did nerf the PDW and the MSMC, which were two of my favorite guns in the entire game, two of my favorite SMGs. And as I was playing through, I noticed that the MSMC wasn't really killing anybody. It wasn't killing people. That's usually my go-to gun of I want to try hard and kill people instantly, I will use the MSMC. But it just wasn't killing people. So at the end of playing for like two or three hours getting these gameplays or whatever, I realized that the MP7 is now my favorite SMG. Especially without a silencer just because it kills people really quickly. It has 40 bullets instead of 30 like a lot of them which is really good. And yeah, it's now my new favorite SMG. We'll see how long it lasts for but it's my new favorite SMG. And a few people have asked me what I thought about the patch. And honestly, I don't really care about anything that they did. I was just kind of confused about what they did. Like, they buffed the Type 25. That, honestly, before the patch, was my second favorite assault rifle out of all of them. So I don't really think it needed a buff whatsoever. But hey, okay, I'll take it. And it also really confused me why they keep nerfing SMGs. I swear it's gonna get to the point where they nerf them into just being completely useless and com being completely pointless. Because I honestly don't see an issue with them. I feel like there's a bunch of other things that could be nerfed before any more SMG nerfs. And one of them is the three burst pistol because that thing can kill me in like one burst. Whereas my M8 will take two or three. Where did, what kind of universe does that make sense in? Not no universes, that's what universe. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, none of those updates were really game-changing for me. I mean, if you want to keep nerfing the MSMC and the PDW, you keep freaking doing it. I'll just use the MP7 or the Scorpion or the Vector. I'll just use something else. It's not, it's not a big deal to me, personally. But also, another thing that I just wanted to touch on was the crying and moaning and bitching and whining and wah that goes on in the Call of Duty community. I'm just tired of it. And it really, really, really kind of escalated when the whole microtransactions thing came out. People were like, Call of Duty is dying! This is the end of an era! Oh my gosh, the Greek gods are going to storm us with a lightning bolt because Call of Duty is doing microtransactions. And talking about how money hungry they are and they're greedy and this and that. I'm just sitting there like, of course they're doing it for money. What? What do you want them to do? Make a game for free and give you maps for free and give you camos for free? And you know what the funny thing is? They actually genuinely do want them to do that. They might not expect the game to be free, but they expect all of the maps to be free. All of the camos to be free. They just expect free stuff. And I don't understand this mentality of Call of Duty, gimme, gimme, gimme free stuff, gimme free stuff. Because Call of Duty is Activision, Treyarch, Infinity Wars business. 
It's their business. It's what they do to make money. Yes, they make a lot of money. And could they do more things to give stuff for free? I guess. But why would you even expect it from a business? That's like going into a clothing store and being like, Hey, give it to me for free. Because I've been shopping here for 10 years. I think I deserve mad free stuff because I'm entitled to it. And it's that whole entitlement complex. Like, oh my god, stop it. Stop it. Just relax. Calm yourself. Calm the fudge down. It's okay. You don't have to buy a camo if you don't want to. No one's forcing you. You don't have to buy map packs either. Just calm down. You don't even have to buy Call of Duty. <gasps> I know. It's. A, I know. I know that you guys did not realize that you didn't have to buy Call of Duty, but you don't have to. So just to all of the Call of Duty commentators that really seem to hate this game and are tired of it and are sick of it, Stop playing Call of Duty and stop uploading Call of Duty because you sit there and call Activision and Treyarch and, and Infinity War money-hungry, greedy people, whereas you sit there and continue to upload and play Call of Duty to get views because if you played a different game, it wouldn't get as many views as Call of Duty. So what does that make you? I'll let you figure it out for yourself. But to my sexy subscribers who are always wonderful and beautiful, I love you guys and I'll speak to you later. Bye!